Hello everybody, welcome back to some Dark Souls 3, picking up where we left off, we're in the bell tower that we left at, and uh, we're going to go across here, but here's the thing, right, just before I started, I peeked out this window and I noticed a little something something over there, um, now I don't think that we've been over there yet, which means the fact that this guy is here, No, maybe we were, maybe we were down there and that's where he drops, but it looked, I kind of assumed that he would climb over. Oh well. Well, maybe he would, because I do believe that there are a couple of them that uh, will climb up or drop down depending on where you are. I don't know exactly how to get to this. I feel like running and jumping would be too much. Just walk off? Okay, good. I should have probably used spook for that. Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, I see. Guy with a big old axe there. I don't know what just happened there. Ow. Who the fuck just shot me? Hey, now, seriously though, who just shot me? I don't even don't even see anyone down there. What the hell? Hey, no, tree. Okay, that looks like a bigger guy. Hello, Mister. You have my back. I'm dumb to do a jump attack. I did see him hiding in there. Are you hiding anything? Nope, just yourself. Okay. And this guy also has a big old axe. Wait for him to turn around and then I will spook him and get up behind him. I uh, also have not got the entire Cathedral Knight set. I am short the helmet. And it isn't that I didn't have enough time to do it. Anything. I just I got everything but the helmet after I recorded the last part, and then the next day, yesterday, uh, I just didn't really feel like like doing it, so I didn't. Hmm. This guy also seems to have. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say like no interest in turning around. Right there. Also notice that while I have the uh, the buff from the ring active, I uh, don't get the spook um, effect. Oh, I know where we are now. Uh, we are about to go across the rafters. Um, excuse me. Is more? Is that fucking? Invisible archer fucking gonna shoot me again? Oh, there you are. Wow, is there really nothing down here? Huh. That's... Why bother then? Interesting. Very interesting. I see that there's something in the next one though, but that's... I mean, they could have threw just like something there, even just like a baby soul or something, you know? Just to make it at least look worth it, you know? Going to assume I still don't know where that's coming. Yeah, I still don't know where that's coming from. I don't see anyone up above there. Or in it? No. Got an arbalist though. New kind of crossbow. Oh there's a guy though. Very slow apparently I uh 
pissed off with your little blowguns. Uh, the largest crossbow is suitably powerful for its size. The bowstring is made of metal requiring great strength to fire. That might actually be the strongest crossbow in the game. I think that you get the strongest crossbow in the game in the cathedral. That might be it. Uh, and I think that's strongest, like, just, like, pure damage-wise. Not, like, like, it's not necessarily the best, but I'm, I think it's the highest damaging. And a pale tongue. Here. Somebody in heavy armor, but I don't see. I'm assuming he's in the building. That one, how do I get inside? Where's my door? There's a door. Now, there are cathedral knights up here as well, including one that uses the uh, heavy crossbow. It also turns out that the pathing from the NPCs is apparently pretty shit. And if you want to kill anything, including the knights, uh, it's a good bet that you can do that just by uh, getting them to start attacking you and then just moving across the rafters and they'll fuck it up. I did get everything but the helmet, by the way, including like a great sword, so. Oof, fucking kicked me, you bitch. Uh, another reason why I did why I stopped farming was uh I knew these guys were here. I don't know how many. Hopefully it won't take me more than this attempt to get across these rafters, but I'd rather not have them drop down if I can help it. And obviously I could go down oh also I did freeze that other. Uh, I found the other lever. It's like in that corner, or maybe this corner. I don't know. I raced an extra bridge. It does nothing because it's not actually a bridge, but um. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't see a way unless he doesn't. No, nope, he doesn't aggro there. Do I I Oh you know what? I actually might be able to do that. So if I cast spook. Really? You're not gonna Huh. Try one more time. Nope, does not care. All right, well. I mean, and here's the thing. I'm just going to run because either this will work for him to kill himself or it won't. And uh, he'll have to fight me over here. Nope, there he goes. Bye. And there's the souls. Drop anything? Uh, I don't see a shiny on his body, but I'm also not 100% sure that I would from here. So, I mean, that might not mean anything. I would imagine I would be able to see it. Like, I mean, I don't know. That seems like something that would render from distance. OK. 
Okay, so now this guy is the one that has the crossbow, as you can see. Fire, he'll bang down to reload. Put that down. Uh, that doesn't seem to do as much. Put that down. Man, these arrows don't do a whole lot. I think I'm using the standard bolts though. Yeah. I, have, I do have large ones left. Hey, where's your... Oh, there it is. And boop. Ow. Okay, these arrows must have a little bit less range, I guess because they're large arrows. Yeah, still do more damage when I get the headshot. Really? He's still backed up more? Good god, is he not up against that wall yet? No, oh, unfortunately I'm getting out of effective range. Okay. Nyer, good god, these arrows kinda suck, don't they? Oh, there he goes. Hey, he dropped right next to Patches. I don't see an item on him. So I'm gonna go with... no. Well, actually, I'll keep that out, because I do believe that I need to make a drop here or something. There. And then down we go. Yes. Oh, good God. Bye. Huh? Y yes. Hello. I don't believe we've met. No, not at all. I'm Patches. Unbreakable Patches. But you seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? You know who I am. Oh, oh yes, of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand, as you know. But, but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. Regrettable, truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. Look at you. Not a scratch. All's well that ends well, right? Yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is. The untidy mess. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yes. Now, it wasn't me. But, but, but you still deserve an apology. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. <laughs> you should know, I'm a kind of uh, traveling merchant. If you're as unkindled as you look, you'll find plenty of good stuff. All right. So yes, we have unlocked a new one. And then as you can see, what is this, the black leather armor? Uh, he has the Katarina set. Ah, and he has one piece of each. Clipping the shield. I wonder what that could be. Uh, Paring dagger, a shotel, a winged spear. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's right. He's unbreakable patches. Okay, 
So let's see. The pairing dagger is only available if you buy it from him. It's also why I didn't level up with the souls that I had, by the way. So I knew that I needed a bunch for the armor set specifically. And then uh, I kind of figured that he might have some other stuff that's only available through him. Uh, also, Shoto, only way to buy it from him. Let's see, and then we have the Wing Spear. Uh, also, only available from him. Good God. Oh, what is this? He also has Poison Arrows. Okay, well, I'll see if I need this uh, armor set from him as well and then we'll just load up on poison arrows because I don't have any of those. Um let's see. Okay. So yes, and this is also the only place to buy this, so probably six of them. I mean, sure. Why not? I kind of sweeting. Ah, oh, sweeting, really? Then this will activate the bridge that he trapped us on. Now, actually, no, he actually doesn't have a top up. I do believe that he will now show up at Fireland Shrine as well. And uh, when we go back there, we can have a little interaction with him. Got some more of these guys. Pastors take two. These guys take. Oh, they also. Oh, I know why they take two. Oh, well, that kind of. That didn't end. Right. Oh, you fuckers, stop with the nonsense. Oh, I have leeches on me, don't I? Her charm. Oh, yeah, and they have this guy who is non hostile. Is he a friend? No. But he does have the red sign, so i Also, I guess since we're here, we may as well. Right? Uh, so, dagger with greatly curved guard, a dagger made especially for parrying, which is usually equipped in one's left hand in place of a shield. Uh, Broadly curved sword, known as a favored weapon of the tragic embraced knight. Shaped to sneak around the defenses of shields, the sword requires ample dexterity to wield effectively. Also, I had to get the cathedral knight great sword. Highly destructive, if intolerably heavy. Its blade is flattened for use as a strike weapon, but the point at the end allows for thrusting. Uh, long hilted spear with winged lugs. Long reach can be used with shield up. Spear attacks are sent out. Yeah, okay. Uh, read that one. Uh, an unusual style of round shield peculiar to the Knights of Katarina. The center of the shield features a large sharpened spike, which is used to skewer opponents, which means it has better shield bash than most. Distinctive shaped helm worn by Knights of Katarina, often ridiculed for its onion-like shape, infuriating the country's proud knights, but the masterfully, the masterfully forged curved design makes it very effective for deflecting blows. Uh, okay, that's the same. Uh, oh yeah. Then the armor, massive iron armor worn by knights, repulsive creatures of the deep are sure to attract the foolish, but the cathedral knights are prepared to meet such intruders head on with their more than ample might. I did like the looks of this one, but it's, I don't know, it looks weird on my character, like she doesn't have like the right body shape or like she's like not the right size or something for it, I don't know. Uh, black dyed leather armor enables its wearer to hide in the shadows of its silent Yes. The wearer of this fine attire was admired by friends and enemies alike, for his skills were unmatched, and his heart was true as gold, as it, as its new owner, you have quite the shoes to fill. Oh yeah, I also got the deacon robe. In time, those dedicated to sealing away the horse of the deep succumbed to their very power. It seems that neither tending to the flame nor the faith could save them. Uh, the deep red pigment denotes the blessing of fire. I think it gives you good fire defense or something. Uh, okay, that's the same... That's the same. That's the same. Okay. And then probably all this is. 
Yeah. Also, it's not that like I took my Deacon set that I got previously out. It's just I just happened to get another set dropped from the same guy actually. Like uh, I killed a guy and it was just bam, rope skirt done. Not that it took me long to get the last time, but bonfire. You're not going to rest in this one, though. I also don't know why I'm looking around. It's I'm clearly fine here. So this is a covenant. This is uh, Rosario's Rosaria, Ros Rosario, Rosaria, whatever. It's the fingers covenant. Uh, so if we go up and talk to her, we can ask to join covenant. And we get Rosario's Rosaria's fingers. Uh, and now, I, if I offer her a pale tongue, it does break Cirrus's quest line. Um, but you can also give her pale tongues to respec or to alter appearance. You can only do this five times total in a playthrough. Because if you do it more than five times, you end up like that thing that's wrapped around her. But if you remember when we fought what's his face, Kirk. He was wearing the thorn set and the helm of Kirk, the notorious knight of thorns. A dense patch of thorns grows from its surface. Fitting item for the murderous Kirk, for even the simple act of bullying can damage enemies when wearing this attire. Now, one thing that's uh, interesting is uh, that I didn't really think of is they have the Tears of Denial miracle in this game, which is when you die. You will instantly resurrect with one health. I don't know. I don't really like that it says that you resurrect because you don't. You just survive with one health. It's more like endure from Pokemon, right? Like it's not resurrecting you immediately. It's just giving you that one extra like thing. And I don't think the description of the miracle says resurrect or revive. I, it's just that's like what people say. Uh. I see. Okay, well, we already did all of that because that's just going through the tower. Okay. Oh, okay. We actually will use that bonfire. Apparently, that's basically it for this place. Uh, so we'll go back to Fireling Shrine to see Patches, because he should be back there. Um, oh, and also, I do believe last time when we had found the boss door, I said that you could summon Henry Force or Cirrus. Um, Turns out not entirely correct. Cirrus isn't there if you come here first. You have to go through. Um, you have to go through Baron Keep first to summon her there. But that's fine. We can. We wouldn't be able to summon her anyway. Although if we bought that dried finger item that the hand makes up and used it, we could. Now, I don't know if we can still do this or not since we've already been through the tower. Uh, but we'll check it out anyway. Because if we go up here, patches should be here, I do believe. Do, 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 do. No? Maybe if we just go... See, I wasn't sure. Oh, there it is. So you may have heard that slamming door. Uh, you will now see. 
at the door is locked. Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're amongst your own. Plenty of company, right? <laughs> oh, by stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> oh, by okay, you. And then that's all of it. All right. So yeah, he traps you in here, uh, and then you have to get out again, which obviously we can do the easier way this time. I'll cast Spook, just in case I fuck something up, but like, if you remember last time, I really got screwed bouncing off coffins, but obviously if you go this way, it's a little bit easier because there's a lot more coffins, and in all honesty, those are close enough together that you may not even need Spook to survive if it drops off of them. Um, but yeah. So obviously they don't expect you to have the power to keep until you've gone through uh, the cathedral and met him there because he won't show up here, I don't think, until he until you've met him already. back up see what he has to say for himself if he's still there I'm not entirely sure that he is in all honesty he might have fled once you know he realized that we escaped yeah he's not there anymore reopen our door though It's a good spell, Spook. It's a, it's a great spell, and I think if I replay this game in the future, I probably will start as the assassin specifically so that I start with that spell. Now, here he is. Ah, oh, you're alive. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I'll come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Not one bit. Y you get these urges running the business and all and and I, oh I, I hate myself for it i do you know what i mean terrible really but i can see you'll forgive me you're alive after all and that's what counts right uh, no oh, for heaven's sake no need to jest with a face like that you're still alive, and I'm here groveling in the dirt, so to speak. Oh, I know. Here, a token of my sincerity. Right and proper, huh? We're just a couple of outcasts. Let's make the best of it. <laughs> ah, I see you've met Greyrat. A slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Rotherick Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> ah, I see a step up. <laughs> okay, so that's actually a clue because uh There's a thing we can do with Grey Rat later that may or may not get him killed based on other things we've done, and one of the things you can do to help him survive is to actually not buy uh, the Katarina armor set from Patches. Now, if you're wondering why I just rested and then didn't do anything, uh, it's because Patches won't leave now. I, I, well, he might leave. I don't know. I don't remember if he leaves or not. But, oh, right. I forgot. That's not quite how it works. We actually have to leave and come back. Like, we have to reload the area properly. Um, 
Oh, well, actually, you know what? We can. We should be able to do that. Uh, cleansing Chapel, I think, we. I think this is where it is. Remember the well that I pointed out a while ago? While we were here. And I said that, that would be important later. Well, it's. Now later in the hollow, that exploding dickhead isn't there. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Anyone at all? Oh. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's me! Keeper of Katarina! I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Someone's swiped my armor. Did you happen to see it anywhere? Sure did. Oh, my armor. My deepest gratitude. I'm Siegbert of Katarina. Salute you. We got a gesture. No need to worry about me. With my trusted suit of armor, I'll be out of here in a jiffy. Until we meet. <laughs> Maybe that's the one that was normally controls. I don't know. Either way, so there we go. That will advance Sigward's quest line as well. And now that we have left Fireland Shrine, if we go back, we should be able to get another gesture, I do believe. Stuck a little bit there. I also really hope you guys don't mind that like I'm not changing armor or anything. I know in 2 I changed armor a little bit, but I just haven't found any other armor that I like the looks of in this one, or at least I, I like as much as this one. Oh, yes, aren't you glad? And I don't think he has anything different. Oh yeah, he has the horse hoof ring, boost kick effect. An old ring with a seal depicting a horse's hoof. Unbreakable patches adores this ring and the feeling that it gave him when he kicked his marks into the depths of treacherous traps, but suffered no shortage of ridicule from his associates for relying so heavily on the tired old trick. But who is the sorrier, the horse who knows only to kick, or the fool who approaches the old beast without thought? I don't know what that means that it boosts the kick effect, but I'll buy it anyway. I can see. And now it's time to go and face the boss. And then after that, we'll end the part, and the next part, we'll head into the Poison Swamp of Baron Keep. Alright, yeah, but first, just let me dump some stuff off here. Shoto. I've been keeping the Morningstar on me in case I decide that I want to strike something, but currently it just does so much less damage than my Uchi that it's not really worth it, because it Scales more with strength. Oh, we actually got to keep the Katarina shield. Because, uh, yeah, it... Uh, it scales with strength more, and even then, its strength scaling isn't great at the moment. Um, that's about that. Alright. Um, this one, obviously, but... Oh, right, okay. I was trying to remember where exactly the boss door is from here, but... I think I remember. Um... There we go. That leads us up there. This leads us...
this leads us here. I need that, yes, technically, but I won't do that. Ooh, do I want a spell for the fight, though? Because I, st I still, I always forget to fucking change my spells around when I go to record, because, believe it or not, I don't really think that I'll be using Homeward at any point during this. No, go away. I don't know if he can hit me while he's up there. But, like, I just don't want to risk him doing something that allows him to do that, you know? Wow, are you just coming at me right away? Damn. Oh, why did that happen? In all honesty, I just kind of want to reset now that that's happened. Because I would much rather not fight two of them. In fact, you know what? I mean, you know what? Now I'm glad that I got homeward. That's, I don't know what exactly that is that does that. I'm assuming one of the deacons gets stuck and breaks the, uh, and breaks the pew to get by because, you know, enemies that when they uh, get stuck on something they will bust the whatever it is they're stuck on in order you know to get out obviously they don't want NPCs getting stuck or enemies getting stuck on like random crap or at least not as you know as little as possible so a good portion of the uh of the random junk in the game is breakable. Or at least breakable enough. I just didn't want him following me. It's like, eh. Like, I don't think you're going to be dangerous, but at the same time, I don't want to risk it, you know? Okay, well, there we go. Now, he should, in theory, stay sitting on that bench now. You know how nice it would be if, like, we kill, because we're obviously going to kill the greatsword guy there, if we killed him and he dropped the helmet, you know how happy that would make me? Like, that would make me so freaking happy. Oh, so close. So, so close. We might actually kill this guy as well after we kill him, because, I mean, we can do it really easy, so, I mean. Oh. He'll come after me, the Cathedral Knight will go back to his spot. It would be really funny if it's just, like, if, like, whenever an NPC got caught on anything, they would just, like, immediately swing at it. So, like, that Cathedral Knight just, like, getting stuck on the Deacon for, like, a second, and he just, like, wails on him. Or this Deacon walking in circles now. Hmm. I don't much care for the fact that he's standing not in his original position, but... It should be fine, in theory. Where are you going, dude? Why are you walking all the way over there? That off. I will be using that. Boss Arena. That's all we put back there. We go. Should be good now. 
Because, yeah, I don't know what besides a deacon would be able to break that bench. No. No dice. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. You're going to give me two pieces of armor. But not the fucking piece that I need for you, bitch. But anyway, the reason I say we're going to kill this guy is because I learned something. Or because it takes him a second to stand up, you can actually backstab him as he's standing. Oh, cut! Really? Are you shitting me right now? All I need is the helmet, and you're gonna drop literally everything. Aw, oh, you dirty, rotten bastards. Oh, I can't fucking even. Anyway, since we can't get Cirrus, we may as well summon Anri and Horus. I only... Okay, I was going to say I should be able to summon both. Apparently you can't summon two at once. Which is weird. So I do believe, just based on the interactions with them, since Horus gives you the blue sentinel thing, and um, which is obviously the same as in Dark Souls 2, where if you're part of the way of the blue, a blue sentinel will... Um, come help you if you get invaded. I think that means that Anri is probably part of the Way of the Blue for his covenant. Um, let's see, Hush is obviously, or not Hush. Rings, that should be fine, that should be fine. I don't think I'll need that. Uh, obviously I didn't bring any pyromancies with me. I made noobs. Um, could technically put Actually, this is better fire resistance than, well, not by much, but and that's probably going to be the only thing that I have to worry about. But anyway, here's the Deacons of the Deep, which as you can see, is a giant amount of enemies. Uh, also, as you can see, we got a slightly different version of the Deacons there. Uh, we have some big boys here. Ow, that apparently don't get staggered as easily. Help, come back. Now you can clear these guys out, but as you probably have guessed, uh, the way that you win this fight is by targeting the red one. Oh, there you go. Uh, it is helpful to keep their numbers down. They do constantly respawn with Al, because of the way the boss mechanic works, they kind of have to. But once you get them down to low enough health, Um, the true boss gets summoned and you no longer have to follow the red marker. Oh, you can apparently also backstab the boss, which I did not know. Ow. Uh, also, if you're wondering why I'm trying so hard to get some of these guys, it's because the blue robed ones can heal. And they can be bigger guys. Can start casting that spell that they're casting. And if you don't kill the guys casting that spell fast enough, um, they will actually curse you, and because we're not in Dark Souls 2, and we're back with the original Dark Souls team, um, that means that a curse is just an insta-kill. A small doll and soul of Deacon's 
from Andri and Horus. Thank you, lads. One of the Twisted Souls Deacon Strength. Uh, after Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, Archdeacon Voice remained in the cathedral with the High Priest to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. Uh, so yeah, this was Aldrich's coffin right here. And now I don't think that there's anything in this room. You can run around this room, um, obviously, to spread them out if you're being by yourself. Uh, but what I think it they can't cast that curse spell until the second phase of the fight when the big guy shows up or when the real boss shows up um, who's actually placed inside this coffin until he spawns by the way then he just gets moved out of the coffin um, but that curse thing if they get the spell off you're dead no matter where you are but that's the archdeacon set Pope hat. A uh, white crown worn by an archdeacon of the Cathedral of the Deep, presented solely to delegates of the gods. Of the three archdeacons of the Deep, one cast off his white crown and left the cathedral to stand by Aldrich. Um, uh, one stood over Aldrich's casket with hope that he would return one day, which is obviously... Oh, Holy Garb worn by an archdeacon. Sign of the way of white's highest rank. Uh, which is obviously Royce, which we learned about on the soul, which is obviously the guy we just killed. Uh, no gauntlets for them. Worn underneath holy garb. Of the Archdeacons of the Deep, one attended to Rosaria, motherly birth, and he being the goddess, which I'm assuming is that creepy thing that's the man grub that's wrapped around her. But that is all of the Cathedral of the Deep. I guess I could have used a magic weapon. I still can't find Fucking needed one piece of the set, and it drops me every piece except that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sacred Seal of Archdeacon Klimt, who served Rosaria, Mother of Rebirth, equipped to pledge oneself to Rosaria's Fingers Covenant. Rosaria's Fingers cut tongues in her name. Some do it to be reborn, others do it to help comfort their voiceless goddess. So, Klimt, it would be the one that was wrapped around her, I guess. Assuming that that's who it is. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that's the Archdeacons. That is all of Cathedral of the Deep, which you do have to do. I realize with the dead end, it seems kind of like a, like it might be an optional area, but it isn't. And actually, if we go into here, to the key item, I have the small doll. A small silver work doll depicting a young squire in the legendary old city of Irithyll stand, situated in the Boreal Valley. Uh, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully, and you can hear it say, wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithyll. Wherever you may be, Irithyll is your home. Oh, yeah, and also, now that we finish that, I say we may have some company. Hey, Horace, I know you like to talk, Chatterbox. Good man. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Andre, the restorer. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldridge's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldridge is said to hail from Irithyll, in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldridge's honest home is Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldridge's honest home, a pilgrim, and so... Okay. So, that just tells us that they're going to be headed towards Farron Keep, and now I do believe that if I rest... Oh no, they are still there. Okay. Maybe if I actually reloaded it, they would. Play. Uh, but anyway, we have a new soul, so let's go speak to our stumpy friend here and see what he can do with it. Aha, thou good soul. 
So with this, we can get the Cleric's Candlestick. The candlestick used as both sword and catalyst, used for worship by Deacon of the Deep. The deacons, under the guidance of Archdeacon McDonald, became both clergymen and sorcerers. Well, if Archdeacon McDonald is left, because it was Clint, Clint Royce and McDonald, so McDonald is the one that left with Aldridge. The candle provides a temporary source of light, which reveals additional guidance. So I don't know... Oh! Because that Seek Guidance spell that we have... It actually reveals extra developer messages if you use it. And if you're not embered and you use it, you can see some... You can't use them, but you can see any summon signs that are around you. Um, and this does the same thing while also providing, like, basically a torch. And then Deep Soul. Sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacons, said to have been imparted to them by McDonald of the Boreal Valley. Fires Dark Soul Dregs. Souls which dwell from the deep pursue their target drawn towards life. So it's a homey soul thing. I don't know why some of these require zero and other ones require actual souls to get. Like, I don't... I don't know. I also don't know why they give us a couple of options here that we would have no way of having that soul yet. Anyway, that'll be a new spell, uh, assuming I can use it. Uh, only 12, so yeah. Alright, and then I don't think we have anything else. We don't have any other ashes. Uh, I can't turn in the Pale Twins yet. There's no point in me farming them yet, because I want to do Cirrus' quest line, which means I won't be able to turn those in for quite some time. I still need the helmet, because the game decided to be a dick about it. Um, I still need absolutely ridiculous if that happened. Oh well. It's one piece. I'm sure I can get it. With a few more attempts. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for this part then. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you next week when we head into Fahrenheit.